Wednesday, and you know what that means. AEW Dynamite is live and on the air here from Seattle, Washington. What a night of action we have for you here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to start off with an announcement with Tony Schiavone in the ring. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a momentous occasion for all elite wrestling. Please allow me to welcome the newly appointed general manager of AEW, William Regal. Mr. Regal, welcome. You have been appointed the new general manager. Obviously, management did not like how certain individuals were calling them out last month, and they decided to give you complete executive powers over all of AEW wrestling matters. You are the ultimate power and face of this company. But with that said, what brings you to AEW? Why did you accept this job? Thank you, Tony. It's a pleasure to be part of this incredible wrestling promotion. Now to ex explain why I'm here, the reason that I decided to accept this job. I've been observing the actions of a certain faction within AEW, the Sports Entertainment Society, and I must say that I'm appalled. While I may not agree with the views of somebody like Jim Cornette, I do believe pro wrestling should take precedence over sports entertainment and what happens in this ring does matter. This is professional wrestling. With that said, I have been appointed to handle the situation with them as well as take this company from good to great. Under my reign, AEW will become the greatest professional wrestling company in the world and I believe it's been that so far. I believe it's had a hell of a start, but we can always make it better. With that said, I'm going to make a momentous announcement. Chris Jericho. You have earned a title shot against Bret Hart, and that will take place tonight. Bret Hart versus Chris Jericho for the AEW World Championship. But that's not all. AEW boasts the most extraordinary women's roster ever assembled. And it's high time that we acknowledge that talent and don't just limit it to one championship. The women of AEW deserve a second championship for all the great stars and professional wrestlers within. Therefore, I'm excited to declare the inception tonight of a tournament to crown the inaugural AEW Women's Tag Team Champions. Now, being a tag team champion, the first ever AEW Women's Tag Team Champions will be a hell of an honor. So I know a lot of people want to be in it. So, there's gonna be a sign-up sheet in the back and you can sign yourselves up with a partner. You can pick your own partners. However, if you do not select a partner yourselves and you want to be part of it, there will be a second sheet next to it where you can sign your name up for the tournament and you'll be matched up with somebody on the list as well. I will choose the teams so you can get a chance at the tag team titles. It'll create some interesting pairings, that's for sure. Well, 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 look who we have here, the dad general manager, William Regal. 
How quaint. Yeah, William, you and Cornette are cut from the same outdated cloth. This is AEW. We're all about pushing boundaries and breaking barriers, not living in the past like you old fossils. Seriously, Regal, you think creating a new set of women's titles is going to change anything? No one can touch the man, and you know it. Ah, Swords Entertainment Society, Jericho, MGF, Miz, Becky Lynch. You certainly have strong opinions, and I respect that. But let me make something perfectly clear. Becky Lynch, you are the AEW Women's Champion, and you will defend the Women's World Championship whenever I deem it appropriate. Yes, you will. And speaking of which, Brick Baker has earned a shot at all out, and I believe that that is a match that deserves to be at a stage that big. Therefore, Brick Baker will face the AEW Women's World Champion at All Out. However, she will face the winner of a match that will take place tonight. Becky Lynch, you will face and defend your Women's Championship against the newest signing to the AEW Women's Division. Mercedes Monet! Oh, bravo, Regal. You're really changing the game, aren't you? Don't get too comfortable, Regal. I'm going to make sure that women's title remains securely around my waist, no matter who you throw at me. We'll see about that. Now, if you excuse me, I have a show to run. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of Dynamite. A new era has begun. A new era with a sports entertainment society. You can have as much success or as little as I deem fit, but your days of holding this company for ransom are over. down Kong I sent Jaden here to talk just talk girl see I know we've had our differences but both of you had hit a bit of a stumbling block lately but imagine just imagine how much we could accomplish together yeah you heard me you two as a team I say we put our petty differences aside and go sign that form on Regal store then we go on and beat the crap out of every woman in AEW until you two bad bitches become the first AEW Women's Tag Team Champions. What do you say? Come on, Kia. You know I'm right. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Okay, let's go sign up for this thing. We are heading to the bank, ladies. Ladies, welcome to AEW. And I think we can all agree that you two will make a fine addition to the SES. But in order to do that, 
we have to make a deal. That if it comes down to you two and my mystery partner, you will be, well, oh, reasonable. Yeah. Oh, I think we know what you are saying. But see, we started this thing you and Jericho are doing last year. So the way I see it, you're following in our footsteps. But, yeah. We know who calls the shots round here. And we will do what we have to if it comes down to you or us. The outcasts belong in the SES and hey, maybe we can bring those tag titles to it with us. Good. And you too, you too know what you will do next week. Yeah. Good. Trust me, it'll be worth it when you finally all get into the SES. Now that will be iconic. See you all later, I got an old friend from back in the day to slap around. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Alliance All-Star Women's World Championship!
Well, well, you people all wanted to know, Riga wanted to know, who my partner would be for the tag team tournament. Well, you're looking at her, Trish Stratus. Chris Jericho, I thought it was over, but I guess I was wrong. It's far from finished. So you have got another shot here tonight. You're coming for me and my title. So gather your Sports and Name Society, recruit whoever you want. It won't matter, because as long as I am the AEW World Champion, I will stand as the guardian of this company, its values, and its future. You see, Chris, you may call yourself the king of sports entertainment, but here in AEW, it's about professional wrestling. It's about passion for this sport, the love for the art form that has captured the heart of millions across the world. You keep trying to undermine the foundation of this company, Chris. But let me tell you something. The fans, the talent, the very soul of AEW won't stand for it. The AEW World Championship is a symbol of excellence, a representation of everything that is right with professional wrestling. It's a title that I hold true to my heart, and I promise to protect it from people like you who seek to undermine its value. Chris, tonight will end just like double or nothing. You are going to tap out. And I will work away still world's champion. Bret Hart. You got lucky once, but it won't happen again. Tonight, I will take the AEW World Championship and I will revolutionize it. I will bring it back to sports entertainment and save this company from you and your like. You want to talk about tradition? Tradition won't get it done. Only the Sports Entertainment Society can save this company and make it as profitable as it needs to be.
right, shut your mouths and listen up. Tonight is a night for change, and it's time to address the failures that have been holding us back. Chris Jericho, the so-called leader of this faction. Why did I do what I did last week when I cost you the AEW Championship? I did nothing less than you did to me. You have proven time and time again that you are nothing but a has-been. A double or nothing. You had a chance, an opportunity to dethrone Bret Hart as the AEW World Champion. And what did you do? You failed! Oh, but it doesn't end there. At Bash of the Beach, when it was time to support me, your own teammate, you turned tail and left the arena, leaving me defenseless when that goody two-shoes Brian came down. Jericho! You beat Brian inconclusively earlier in the night. You knew that he wouldn't interfere. You knew that being the person that he would, he would stand up and try and rescue his hero Bret Hart. And you handed him the opportunity to screw me out of my rightful championship. <laughs> so Jericho, I feel like we've been here before. This happened when we were part of the inner circle. And frankly, you should have seen it coming when you screwed me like you did. Well, Jericho, you're out. Consider yourself kicked to the curb. You failed me, and you failed all of us. And I refuse to let failure be part of the Sports Entertainment Society. No longer. No longer. Becky, Miz, they're on the same page as me. They know it's time for a change in leadership. Now, now let's move on to something more positive. The future. And the future is right here with the newest addition to the Sports Entertainment Society. Oh yeah, you think we weren't going to replace Jericho, did you? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newest member of the Sports Entertainment Society, L.A. Knight! AEW, let me talk to you. Yeah. yeah. L.A. Knight has arrived. And let me tell you something, folks. What a pleasure it is to be standing right here with the most cunning and impressive faction in the industry today. Sports Entertainment Society, huh? Well, you've got yourselves one hell of a centerpiece now. You see, AEW? Yeah. yeah! You see, I've been all around the wrestling world tearing it up and leaving my mark wherever I go. But it wasn't until I stepped foot in this company that I realized there's only one place I truly belong. The top! And that's right where each one of you will witness L.A. Knight rising to. That's right, Knight, my boy. And with the Sports Entertainment Society by your side, you'll soar higher than you ever thought possible. We know talent when we see it, and you got it in spades. But remember one thing. We don't settle for mediocrity. We don't settle for second place. We're champions. And we expect nothing less from you. Yeah. You bet on that, MJF. Let me tell you, AEW, L.A. Knight doesn't settle for anything less than the very best. And speaking of champions, you're looking at the man who's destined to hold championship gold around his waist. AEW, mark my words, you've never seen anything like L.A. Knight before. And soon, the world will be chanting my name as I add another title to the collection of greatness that is the Sports Entertainment Society. Yeah. yeah! 
So let the doubters doubt. Let the haters hate because AEW with L.A. Knight in the sports entertainment society in town. There ain't no stopping this train. Yeah. This is our era now. And together, we're going to rewrite the rules, redefine success, and leave an impact that will echo through the annals of wrestling history with everybody saying... Well, what a miserable day it is to be here in this so-called wrestling promotion known as AEW. Let me tell you folks, I ain't everything about this place. From the hokey gimmicks to the flippy dippy gymnastic style wrestling. This is a wrestling, it's a circus, and I don't belong here. Enough about my grievances about AEW tonight. My new clients, FTR, are going to show all you AEW fans what real tag team wrestling looks like. Jungle dorks. That's right, I said it, jungle dorks. 
You may be beloved darlings of the circus, but tonight FDR will prove that they are the best tag team on the planet. And once they're done with you, Miz and MJF, your time as so-called champions will come to an end. Oh, and also why I got this microphone. <laughs> hey, guys over in England, it's great that you're suspending half your show talking about me. Keep it up. You'll get everybody to shooting to AEW. Not that that's a great thing, but it's better than watching your crap. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all you simple-minded AEW fans out there, gather around. Tonight you're about to witness a game-changer, an absolute force in the world of professional wrestling. But before I introduce him, let me address something about this so-called AEW roster. You see, I've been around this business for decades, and I've seen a lot of pathetic pretenders who call themselves wrestlers here. The AEW roster sells with nothing but vanilla midgets, flippy guys, and spot monkeys who wouldn't know a wrist lock from a wrist watch. But today, brace yourselves, because the Wrestling Foundation is about to inject some class, technique, and true wrestling into this promotion. Without further ado, let me introduce to you the newest gem in the Wrestling Foundation's crown, Claudio Castagnoli! Claudio Castagnoli is a true wrestling virtuoso. He's not some overhyped high flyer or glorified stuntman. Claudio is a wrestler's wrestler and a true embodiment of old school values and techniques. And tonight he's going to go into that ring and he's going to show you all what wrestling is all about. We are going to revolutionize. We are going to save professional wrestling whether you all like it or not.
What the hell, Brett? Last week, I was left high and dry when the Sports Entertainment Society attacked me in my match with Miz. And where were you after I came down at Bash of the Beach and helped you retain your championship? Where were you? Ryan, I'd already left the arena at that point. I had no idea what was going to happen to you. Oh, that's your excuse. That's your excuse? Instead, I'm rescued by FTR? FDR saved me, but not the guy whose championship I helped retain? Brian, you have to understand. Jim Cornette did that to manipulate you. He wants you to join his wrestling foundation. Whatever the hell he's calling it. Yeah? Well, the way I see it, those guys, FDR, Cornette sent them. I don't know, I don't care. But they had my back. And you didn't. And I'll remember that. Hitman. The following is a tag team championship first round match. Introducing first from Auckland, New Zealand, Tony Storm.
Who's ready for story time with Adam Cole, baby? All right. Well, it's glad to have you both out here with me, and it's good to see your faces. But I don't see a lot of smiles on those faces, and I get it. I get it. I get because I'm not happy with how things went down recently either. You see, when I beat Kenny Omega to take over the Elite, I thought I was doing what was best for all of us. Kenny, the books, myself. But in the process, I hurt our friendship, and for that, I am truly sorry. Then at Bash of the Beach, when I got us disqualified to save us from Mil Mortez and La Casa de la Morte, I had no choice. They were out for blood, and I couldn't stand idly by and watch my brothers suffer. I had no choice. I had to do whatever it took to protect myself and my brothers. I made a tough call, one that led to getting us disqualified, and for that I am truly sorry. But I did it to save us, to save your lives from injury or worse. But tonight, I'm not here to dwell in the past. But tonight I'm here to make up for it to my brothers in the elite. I'm here to bring us together like never before, to unite us as a force that cannot be reckoned with. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the newest members of the elite. That's right, Kyle O'Reilly, Bobby Fish, are once again back. And that's right, the Undisputed Elite is once again alive and well. And the Undisputed Elite is going to dominate this company like never before. With Kyle and Bobby by our side, no one will be able to stand in our way. So to all you haters out there, you better get used to it because the Undisputed Elite is going to run this place. And as for you, Kenny Omega, well, I'm sorry for how it happened, but I promise you the Elite will be stronger without you. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Fighter Fest. I put together a hell of a card. We've got several championships on the line. But most importantly is our main event. Our main event will decide who will face Brett the Hitman Hart for the AEW World Championship at All Out. It will be an eight man battle royal. And I have picked what I think are the eight top contenders for the World Heavyweight Championship in that match. An eight-man battle royal and the winner of that match will face the AEW World Champion. And if it is still Bret the Hitman Hart, then that is what it will be at All Out in September. Thank you and enjoy the show. is a tag team match set for what fall on the way to the ring becky lynch and trish stratus and their opponent the iconic So let me get this straight. We have to earn our way into the SES, but Trish just gets in. This is bullshit. The hell with her and to hell with them.
Tonight, my loyal disciples, the time has come for us to claim what is rightfully ours. We are La Casa de la Muerte, the House of Death, and our destiny is written in shadows and blood. Mil Muertes promised both of you individual glory when you joined our dark ranks. He vowed to lead you to greatness, and tonight... His prophecy shall be fulfilled. Penta El Zero Miedo, the time has come for you to unleash your unforgiving fury upon AJ Styles. Tonight, you will pry the TNT Championship from his grasp and bring it back into the embrace of darkness where it truly belongs. And Darby Allen, you embody the spirit of recklessness and fearlessness. Jushin Thunder Liger stands in your path, but fear not, for you will break through his legendary status and claim the AEW International Championship as your own. Tonight, the world will witness the rise of La Casa de la Muerte like never before. Our enemies will tremble as the darkness envelops them, and our triumphs will echo through eternity. Mil Muertes speaks not, for his actions define him. His darkness is a force beyond words, a harbinger of doom. Tonight, we shall conquer, and we shall reign. Tonight, we claim what is ours. Repeat after me, Viva la Muerte! Viva la Oscuridad! Viva, Viva la Muerte! Viva la Oscuridad! Viva, Viva la, la Muerte! Viva, Viva la Oscuridad! The following champion versus champion contest is Skipper Four One Four and is for the International.
Yo, what the hell is this? What the- We find out from Regal that you had a chance to put us in that Four Corners tag team match tonight and you put Red Dragon in it instead? They've barely even been in this company, they've not even beat anybody yet. Yet they, they're getting the tag team title shot and not us? <sighs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Look, yes, I did, but... Given everything that's been going on lately, you guys are a little stressed. I didn't think your head would be in the game with all the, the changes. So I thought perhaps maybe that Red Dragon will be having more of a chance of bringing the tag team titles home to the Elite. Am I wrong? I'm done. We're done. Hey! What the hell's that supposed to mean? Get back here! Hey!
Here are your winners, and still, Alliance World Tag Team Champions, MJF and The Miz.
from Switzerland, weighing in at 232 pounds, Clown E. Weighing in at 226 pounds, one half of the 